This climate crisis fraud being perpetrated by the experts impact the credibility you give to the public health experts re-COVID. Um, well, yes and no. I mean, I am skeptical of what experts uh, say, and I can go and judge for myself with regard. And, and I also have experts who I trust, both in terms of climate change and in terms of COVID. Uh, I have friends who are doctors. I have friends who are ep epidemiologists. You saw one of them yesterday on my show. I have, um, I, 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 I have, you know, uh, um, I, you know, my father was a doctor. I have some knowledge, minimal. I wouldn't use it, but I, I, at least I know what they're talking about when they talk about uh, biology. Um, you can, you can also. I know statistics. We've talked about that. I've looked at the climate crisis data. I've looked at it. It's not that I don't believe the scientists. I don't believe the experts. Some of them are right and some of them are wrong. Some of them are doing it purposefully, fraud. Some of them are doing it innocently. They're just mistaken. They're wrong. And then I look at COVID. I look at the experts who tell me, uh, I don't know that it's made up, that it's not true, or that it's, uh, or, uh, that it's bogus, or the numbers are wrong, or whatever. And I analyze what they say, and I, and I analyze what they say, ba for example, based on my knowledge of statistics. So if somebody, you know, I, I watched this video of this German uh, epidemiologist that's touted as this genius and great epidemiologist, one of the greatest in the world and so on. And, he, and, and, and he, he's skeptical about a lot of stuff about COVID and then he gets to an explanation about false positives. And I do the math and he's wrong. Now, false positives are a pretty basic statistical issue that any world-class epidemiologist shouldn't get wrong. It shouldn't take your Ron Brook finance guy to identify that you're wrong on your false positives. It takes a little, you know, you can draw it on a page and you can see it. So now I say, ooh, if he's wrong in this, maybe he's wrong in all the other stuff. And then I hear from other people who I know that he's wrong in the other stuff. Okay. But when I hear somebody like Amesha Dalja and everything he said about this coronavirus has come true, um, I haven't caught him in any anything wrong. Uh, the numbers match up to what he predicts. I look at Taiwan, I look at South Korea, I look at Vietnam, I look at China, I look at the United States. Okay, I can understand what's going on. Some of it we just don't know, just like with climate change, we don't know. Some of it, stuff with COVID, we don't know. But the fact is that when I look at the evidence from the experts on climate change and the experts, first of all, what do the experts actually say on climate change? That's an interesting question too, because what you're fed is a lot of propaganda. Do the experts actually say that climate change is gonna cause catastrophic loss in the next 50 years? No. I mean, might be a few experts here and there, loonies like the loonies who claim there's no COVID. Most experts say that there is a warming of the planet because of CO2, which I think is true, but it's not an emergency. It's not a crisis. It's, it's the, the globe is going to heat. We can cope with that heating. Um, and, and they're not experts on coping anyway. All they can tell me is this, if there's going to be heating, then I'm more of an economist than they are. And I know how an economy can adjust to more heating. Who cares is my approach to more heating, right? So I don't, I think it's true that the globe is warming because of CO2 emissions. I don't think it's catastrophic. And I think we can cope with it easily. Uh, COVID, I think it's true that some of the response to COVID has been nutty and insane and authoritarian and, and, uh, and, and wrong. Lockdowns, for example. But COVID is real. And I know people who almost died from COVID. I know people who have died from COVID. I know people who, you know, who are being vaccinated now. I, you know, it's not that hard to, to visit an emergency room in Orange County and see people in a COVID ward. And you're thinking every nurse in that ward, every doctor in that ward are participating in a fraud. They're pretending. Give me a break. So COVID is easy. It's right there, right in front of you. Just go on bulletin boards and read what doctors say about COVID. Not 
the freaky German guy, not one in a thousand guys, but generally. And then, you know, don't, don't believe the panic, the, the people who panic either, the people who tell you that we all get to lock down and, you know, we, you got to wear a mask in your own home when you're feeding the dog, you know, that's absurd as well. So you got to find the right balance, the right, what's logical, what's, and obviously lockdowns are not working and lockdowns are a violation of individual rights. So take that into account. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.